Hello. Wait, he'll get a little beep. No, so, okay, listen, check this out. There was some stuff I had to do real quick. Let me, um, y'all come on in. Let me char, let me connect my, my, um, to my phone. So that y'all can hear. So let me connect it to the phone. All right, so hey, y'all, what's going on? What's the, hey, everybody, what's going on? Come on in, come on in. We about to talk about some stuff. We about to get some stuff done. All right, so, um, oh, God, what's the name I'm looking for? Girl, shit, something, 447? Damn. Hey, what's going on? Yes, girl, yes. All right, so, it's going to be a little different than advertised. Uh, actually, I just uh, spoke with Kitty herself. Uh, and she's going to actually come to the live herself. And instead of playing a lot of the recording, we're going to just hear it from her mouth. And that's just going to make more sense. Okay? Hey, what's going on? I've been busy too, as y'all can't hear. Um, so I got to stay fresh as hell in case the feds watching. Hey, how y'all doing, feds? Hey. Um, what's going on? So we're going to actually have her here herself. And instead of having... Yes, yeah, a little beat real quick. And so instead of having... Um, instead of having... Hey, what's going on? Instead of having... You hear from the recording, you hear from the horse's mouth. There may be one part that we do have to do from the recording. But we'll definitely hear it. It's a lot of stuff and we'll get into a lot of stuff. So um, if you are here now, um, we're going to we're going to talk about it. Because see, I, this is what I do. This is what I do. And people are going to do what they want to do. So we're going to hear about, we're going to get into this. And we're going to get into it. We're going to just, just, just hear about it. I'm sorry for the delay. I do apologize. I was trying to get not only my not only get my little beat girl, but also make sure I talk to her and understand. Um, I will say this while we're waiting on her. Um, it's not, now listen, and I will tell y'all about it, and I'm going to let her explain, expound on to you. Um, she did not give me this recording. I'm not being investigated. I've been charged. Keto filter. So that's the thing. And I'm not deflecting, but this is not about that. After this, I will gladly go live and answer any questions you have about the about my charges that from them. So, but this is not the time. I'm not deflecting. I would never deflect. I'm shaking. Why would I deflect? It don't matter. I gotta do it, not you. So the special guest is the lady who we're gonna talk about. Her name is Kitty. As you know, she was once Tiny's friend. She was once Shakana's friend. I had the pleasure of meeting her. I had the pleasure of meeting her. Um, yeah, I will turn up the comments when she comes. Uh, I had so, but until then, I'm gonna keep it up. So I had the pleasure of meeting her when the uh, whole thing happened in regards to the show. Uh, I literally talked about this all day. <sighs> I did, and if they just so I've I've literally uh, and there she goes. And so I had the pleasure. Of being, I was uh, went to the show, and to as y'all know, uh, we did take a pilot for a reality show with. Uh, what I did with Tiny Chicago. And so I had the pleasure of meeting her there. This is her. Um, so before we even start, let me offer you in front of everybody a humble apology. In a previous video, I referred to you as a maid, and I do apologize for that. You're definitely more than that. Um, as I bet you, you're more than that. And so uh, I definitely want to apologize to you face to face for that rhetoric. Um, and so I definitely want to just get into a few things real, real quick. Just if you can give me, and th first of all, thank you for coming. You didn't, you, you kind of didn't have to come, and you still came just to kind of have the air. I was saying and explaining how I came to know you, and it's when I worked with uh, Tiny and Shekinah to do a show, a reality show pilot. Right. You were actually working um, for her at that time. So if you don't mind giving us a little backstory about how you came to work with her and what you actually did at that time. Okay, so um, well, back you know, I was Popcorn's friend, which is um her nephew who died on the bike. We was close friends, and I used to like keep up, you know, his pole and do stuff like that. And Tiny hit me, and Tiny was pregnant at the same time with Eris, and I was pregnant with my child, which I lost. And um, you know, she just basically hit my DM, and she was like, "But I had been knowing her way before that from my kid's father who got killed from being in the music business or whatever." So um. You know, she basically just hit my DM and she was just like, you know, I ain't know you pregnant too because she saw me post my archer sound or whatever. She was like, hit my line. So we became best friends. Well, kind of close, okay. you know, and okay. um, she learned then that I, I was doing cleaning and stuff because I worked for somebody else that she knew who was in the industry as well. And so um, 
you know, I left that alone and I came over and I, she hit me one time, asked me to do a cleaning for her. So I did it one time. And the one time I did it, she decided to hire me permanent because she said by myself, I did a great job versus four, five, six people in her house, me alone, clean the mansion. So from there on, that's how I started. And then, you know, just we built a friendship, you know, um, around that. So this was, so this is several years. You've been, you've been cool with her several years and y'all yeah. had a good and good relationship. Uh, I do remember there was even an incident that happened at the uh, thing and you were very protective of her. You always kind of stood out for her and kind of stood in a way of making sure that she uh, got things that she needs. So that's, you're definitely, um, as from what I can see my own eyes, a good friend of her. Um, all right, so kind of fast forwarding a little bit and just kind of getting a little bit into the meat of it. You stop being her friend at some point because are you her friend today no okay no can, mm -mm. can you tell us what changed that, tell us what changed it's, that. um well it is it, it's a lot you know that even when we were still friends supposedly you know like you know you got people that talk people that do this people that you know they will run their mouth and they will tell you certain things that she's thanking her friends you know, so it led to a lot of shit to where, um, you know how people come at you and they'll be like, well, Tiny said this or Tiny said that. But it's one one time I was up on the fourth floor and um she was downstairs and I heard them talking. So I went down to the to the third floor. When I got to the third floor, she called my phone and she was like, Kid, where you at? You on the fourth floor? I was like, nah, I'm on the third floor in the bathroom. What's up? But I wasn't. I was at the top of the steps listening. And then she was like, Oh, I thought you just heard me talking. Like that. And I said, damn, you talking about me? And she was like, no, not right now. So that kind of bothered me because when it come to her, like I'm over beyond protective of her in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that when it come to her, like I wrap her around me and I just feel like I didn't get that same. You know, my loyalty lies in tiny because, you know, I had a death, which was my brother. It's just being facts. And she helped me with my brother funeral a few years ago. So that made me love her like this. But then it's like, okay, um, it's not like nothing came for free, you know, it'd be alone. You know what I'm saying? That what people don't understand. Like, you know, they think cause you work for these celebrities or you got this going on or whatever. They just a face card that you hang with these people. It's not putting food in my table or food. On, if they ain't at home, I ain't making no money. They could be out of town for a month. I got to figure out what I'm going to do for a month to pay my bills. You did what I'm saying? So, but anyway, here no there. It just was a lot, you know, and I'm the friend that always came to tiny and just been like, what it is that you're doing. You know, like, we need to try to get some business. Hold on. We need to, damn, the phone ring. Hold on. We need to try to get some, you can hear okay. me? Yeah. We need to try to get some business going on. Try to do this or try to do that. And she told me, she said, you know what? You and Shakunda, the only two people ever said something to me like this. Y'all the only two people ever tried to motivate me to do something different. I'm that friend. I never ran the streets, never did all that extra bullshit. That's not me. I'm the one to introduce you to the world to where we want to go fishing and, and do some shit like that. I'm not the one to rib you up and go to the strip club so you can spend all your money or rib you up to go over here so you can get my body done. I'm not that person. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who come at you like, nah, that ain't right. Don't do that. Or, woo -woo -woo. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? That was me. Your, your position there puts you in... I can't hear him. Hold on. Okay. Um, she can't request her. I'm gonna have to request her. Uh, if she can't, so you have to come back in. I turn it. Did I turn it back on? Uh, I'm gonna turn the comments on. See if she come back. Okay, that's not her. That's not her. I did not play the recording. Yeah, I'm trying to um my my sound is bad. It's echoing on my end. Is this better for me? Is, is y'all can hear me with an alpha echo? I have an echo right now. Oh, 
Okay. It's not me. Do you want to come live on this page or do you want to come live on the other page? You hear me fine? Y'all better get off them androids, girl. <laughs> All right, so, um, I sound good to y'all? Okay, so she came on the other page. I'm trying to add you, why would I add? They will be reporting this live. I can almost promise you. So we do have to watch. We're talking very educated. We're not violating any big, big old, I say, oh, girl. We're not violating any Instagram terms of service. Why won't they let me add nobody? It said she was unable to join. Try to add again. My bad, y'all. Don't trip. We're going to get this out. She has two phones. Yes, she does have two phones. If I'm blurry, they're reporting. All right. I hear everybody can hear okay. You hear me? I can hear you. Can hear you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so my question was, um, since... Check out. Okay, yes, let me check out. I'm so sorry. All right, and a request to go live. I think that was the thing. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about the little technical difficulties. All right, so when you were working for her, did you come in contact with Tip at all? Like, what was your relationship like with him? Was he, did you he find... A lot of times, they question about how he treats the women in his life, but he, he treated you well from what we saw. He most definitely did. Um... I never experienced what a lot of women say they experienced. Tim never tried me. I mean, even me seeing certain things, you know, he never, he never tried me. Like, talked to me disrespectful. And I was a kid. It, it always was love when it came to Tip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's all of them. I don't know what's going on behind my back, but, you know right. what I'm saying? When I get there, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, till I leave 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, like, it was never no type of... Even Tiny said that she was like, Tip like you. He never came and said that like I feel if he'll say about other friends. I guess because I'm just average. I ain't no celebrity. I ain't I don't know nobody. So right. I can't take around nobody, you know. Do you um how did you do you feel that being kind of in their light that they had a, a a good relationship, that their relationship with each other was okay? No. Fair enough. What were you there when Shakana and her had their falling out? Yeah, I most definitely were there two times. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. What? 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 Can you tell us a little bit about that and what were your thoughts on that? Well, like I told, I actually also told her too. I was like, um, my thoughts is this, you know, uh, right and right and wrong is wrong. If I come to Shaky and I say, hey, Shaky, um, I need you. Um, you can't use this person or that person because they platform ain't as big as Shaky. All right, so I come to Shaky and I decide I want to use Shaky. I need you. I need you. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, however it went. And then yeah, I use Shaky, but then when it slapped me in my face and I come back and I say, shit, Shaky, this is what's going on. I got these people coming at me or they suing me or everybody coming at my throat and then you get the back end of the stick like as if y'all not even trying to deal with her even be involved with what's going on that's that wrong you know what i'm saying like that's the only god truth you know what i'm saying at the end of the day this girl just asked to pay for her lawyer fees you see what i'm saying but even before then even before then you know what i'm saying it was like a bunch of like just a bunch of bullshit behind it you know um True enough, you know, Shakana, she gonna speak her mind. She don't give a damn who you is. She gonna say how she feel. She don't, she don't care. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, you know, I felt like it wasn't no ill intentions on what she did, you know. And it, this was said before the falling out of me and Tiny. Well, me and Tilt. It, it, me and Tiny never fell out. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, it's like 
Net, this was said to a tiny directly. I'm like, maybe you shouldn't just pay for a lawyer fee, don't you think? But when you got your husband saying, no, that's what it is. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is. So I, I just feel like um, it was just a lot of bullshit, you know. I don't know um, if it was she was because they had fell out and then she was back around. And, you know, they were trying to do the little YouTube channel shit, but it was a lot of shade throw there, too. You know, and Shakana had asked me one night they was family. She was like, Kid, do you think I was wrong? And I told her, No, I don't feel like you were wrong. And I said that in a tiny face because, you know, if if we're doing a YouTube channel together, I'm not saying no names, but you want to get up here and spill names, the tea on niggas I done fucked or, or, you know, been with or whatever the situation might have been. That's that wrong. So, of course, you know, I always spoke when it comes to if Shakana were wrong, I tell Shakana, you that wrong. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, she always say, kid, you went back and you did not nah, always try to keep them together. But then once she kind of opened up to me and then I heard both sides of the story. I heard Tiny's and I heard hers also from other people around that was there before me. I kind of seen where it was going. If that makes sense. Like, makes a, um, lot of sense. makes a lot of sense. So for the most part, you kind of just kept it copacetic. You were just not, you, you didn't get into it. When there's been speculation uh, recently that Shekinah was coerced or led when she made her statements to the media about the situation that happened with their okay. illicit sexual activities that we right. know about from last year. Were you around when Shekinah made those statements? Uh, well, I wasn't around when she verbally made the statements but I was around during the time it took place like right yeah Shekana has stated that Tiny told her what to say what well, do you uh, Tiny, believe like she admit to it she, she most definitely it's not that she told her what to say she just told her the business and she gave her permission to go live because she was like basically like using her platform to get the word out, I guess, to the people because that individual who they was going in with, you know, which when you're saying names, kind of was already all over social media with it. So it was only fair that they took like a little detox away from social media when that happened, tip and tiny. So right. that only person that was able to go on social media was Shakana at the time. My platform is not big, so I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna hear me, you know, but um, she 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 most definitely and she admitted to it that yeah she did tell her but I think it kind of like took them in the loop how she kind of just voiced it maybe because she blunt you know so the stuff that she was saying is absolutely true and it was told to her you know what I'm saying but I think it just because other people they started lashing out at, at them then once she kind of voiced her and so it kind of like caused problem between them because they like damn he had to say it like that. But y'all was sitting right there when she said it. Y'all didn't stop her. Y'all didn't tell her to cut the shit off. Y'all let it go on. So don't yeah. talk about it once it's done. Because if it were me, I'd have been like, oh, stop. Like I told you, oh, let me let me do this. Let me, because, I mean, it's truth. You know, like, I already know we're going to come behind it. You know what I'm saying? going to be a lot come behind this. But I'm just speaking facts. This old, you know what I'm saying? I put them people in my past um, last year, back in June. A lot of people don't know it, but I have moved on with my life. You know what I'm saying? And um, I have grew bigger, and I'm doing better, if that makes sense. Right. So. Right. And, 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 that's, and that's perfectly fine. And I just want to go ahead and say why you're even here today. That I did obtain a video, obta right. obtain a video that was in uh, a phone conversation, a private phone conversation you was having. You did not know you recorded. The person recorded you against your will and against your consent. Um, and I obtained it from that person. Um, in the video, there were a few things mentioned. And uh, in, the, in the thing, there were a few things mentioned about how you felt. You stated in the video that you had done some of their work for them when it comes to sending stuff to blogs and uh, kind of writing a narrative. Is right. that correct? Is that accurate? Yeah, I never, I never did it, though. But I, I, so, it was sent to me to be sent to them, yeah. So they would send you stuff purposely to send to blogs to change narrative. Is right. what you're not not tip. Tamika. All right. So 
Tiny would send you stuff to send to the Yeah, no, she would be like, you know, send it to him. Send it to him from right here, like receipts. What she was saying, she wasn't getting paid, which I still got all that. Uh, she wasn't right. getting paid but $100, but I got receipts showing back then that she was getting paid $1,500. You know what I'm saying? Here, not there, but it's just a lot, you know, um, audio voice recordings. But I, I never did. I never got involved in it because I, I don't do that. You the, know. The, the video says that you, in your opinion, you felt that Shekinah was being more of a friend than Tiny in a situation. Do you still feel that way or was that a situation or how do you feel about that? Well, I, I do still feel like that. I do still feel like that because, um, you know, they got their flaws. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff they were doing before I even came around, but during that time, during that, during that time, I feel like more of trying to help than to bring them down. See, people think that she was trying to bring them down, which she wasn't. Okay, so if you if if I'm trying to help you because I would ask, I didn't volunteer this shit. You see what I'm saying? I would ask. So if she if she would ask to do something and then she do it and she she go forth with it, now she getting all the backlash and all this shit from social media. Oh, leave tip alone, leave Tiny alone, leave these people alone. But in the end of the day, she's the one that was being bullied. Y'all didn't tell nobody to leave her alone when people were coming for her and jumping down her throat, making her look like she a fucked up person. When you getting approached by a person and every time a person see you in public, they're approaching you in a disrespectful manner. She never brought that to social media. And in a day, people get tired and they get fed up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that never happened to me because I don't know how I respond to that. I can't right. take a motherfucker coming in my ear calling me to help and all this and all that. So she held it high in the best of her ability. She let it go. But then when it keeps coming and tugging at her and then she run the social media like everybody else run the social media, it's a problem. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Um, at a part of the video, you said you you stated that Tiny once referred to Shekinah's old friends as special aid, but we see <laughs> she, Tiny hanging with Shekinah's old friends. Yeah, she she, she 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 said that day when we was up there recording, okay. like okay, so you know, like she um uh, who she just used to tell her like she just not hanging around them type of people. You know, and she have stated that to her too as well in the townhouse, I remember. Right. And because it was some drama going on then with, you know, Tommy and what's his name got to fight and whatever. But right. um Mara is uh, Sh shaky. Uh, what's not his name? Shamar. Yeah. Him. You know, and um she just basically like, you don't need to be hanging around them type of people. Then when I started seeing certain shit like when she adds Sh uh, Shamar to the live and bringing in these people, but you didn't bring these people around until you and her fell out. I'm just like confused with this. Like, hold on. But the moral of the story is a person sometimes might be so wishy washy, they don't know a real friend. I was a friend. Shakona was a friend, okay? A true friend will lead you in the right direction. They're not, they not going to lead you to cheat on your husband. They're not going to lead you to fuck with other niggas in whatever type of way. They're not going to rip you up to go on shopping sprees. They're not going to rip you up, let go out of town, let go get our body done. They're not going to do those things. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Them are not your friends. Them are your users. But when you got the ones like, come on, Tiny Man, that's not it. Or that's not the way to go. We we the fucked up ones. We the fucked up ones. You know what I'm saying? But I held my tongue for a long time because I was accused of some shit that I absolutely in the world know I'm not even that type of person. That what would cause they, a problem. What that would cause a problem. What they accuse you of? They accused me of stealing. But not only that, I remember when they accused Shakana of stealing tiny rings. And um, she kept on telling me, like, I know Shakana don't steal. And I told her, I, we was at the Hit Dog Holler video shoot. I said, Tiny, when we left from the Hit Dog Holler video shoot, we went and got straight on the airplane and went to L.A. Maybe your ring is in L.A. And she went to um, L.A. And uh, maybe a week or so later after this girl coming over there filming and all this other shit, y'all in the end, in the back of y'all mind, y'all still thinking she did it. But then you turn around and find the ring in L.A. Never got an apology. Tip watch in his bracelet uh, watching a pink ring supposed to have got stole. But then you go on live. I see the watch and the pink ring. I text you and say, damn, ain't that's what you said we're missing? Never got an apology. You know what I'm saying? That's I remember that's exactly when that. I remember. I remember. I actually, I remember the day that happened because that's the day I met her, actually. And so, uh, and Tiny, finally. Um, and it was, I think, and I was actually at the table when all this happened. It was, it, you know, I hit the blogs real briefly. And 
they just did an insurance thing on it. I wonder, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, not saying it's a sure. No, they didn't. No, I, I was at the table. Actually, me and Tommy, as a matter of fact, me, Tommy, Shakana, and Tommy were at the table. We went to um, a steakhouse in Atlanta somewhere. I was visiting Atlanta. And um, I'm literally watching the blogs talk about it and everything and people throwing around accusations. And I'm just literally seeing her make the, look, we're just going to make the insurance thing safe. And she's actually, Tiny's telling Shakana what to say. And they, so Shakana, so Shakana like, ah, I won't do that. And then that, don't worry about it. I'm going to make my insurance claim. It makes an insurance claim. And then all of a sudden, here you go, the ring pops, the ring and the watch and everything pops up again. So I don't know, but that's a whole other thing for a whole other day. Um, you were accused of stealing what? What were you accused of stealing from them? I, I'd rather really not say, but okay. it's, it's but a you, lie. But you, that's, that's fine. But, it, it, but it's your volition today that you've never stole anything from them. Hell no, I ain't that type. I ain't never been that type of person. Anybody in the world, when when it went down, you went to questioning people that I had, I'm beefing with right now, and the people even told you one thing about it: don't ever say shit down on Kitty, cause Kitty gonna goddamn tell it all. And don't ever. And one thing about that girl, she's not that type of person. I would never, ever, ever. Listen, what they took, bitch. Listen, my son would be on the run. Pure. I don't give a fuck. Okay, but right. I had to just pay $5,000 to get him a lawyer, all right? And, and, and his teeth would be fixed because he, he he had a car wreck. What they said I took, and I wouldn't be riding the old ass car and living in that fucking little bit of apartment. Stop playing with me and working. I'm at work now. I own my own business, cleaning buildings. You see right. what I'm saying? So here nor there, my voice never been heard. I just looked at it like everything happened for a reason why I'd rather say what I got to say. But they can say what they want to say. I know they're going to come for me. You know what I'm saying? I got all type of backlash behind this. Oh, when you see you in the street, we're going to have you killed, all this and all that. But guess what? God can only kill me. You did what I'm saying? So I ain't hiding from nobody. I ain't scared of nobody. I seen one of um their son's friends, did we not, right out here at my job. And he came up to me and he said, kid. And I looked like, what the hell? And I walked up to him and he started telling me some shit. And he was like, man, look, kid, we know you. I'm not people in their house right now call me. And like, we know you ain't that type of person, but I'm the one to get to do the dirty work. You want me to fire this person, fire this person, fire this person, fire this person. I never did it. You still got them up under you, but you don't want them up under you because nobody fired them. You see what I'm saying? Like, I used to just, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that. Go fire this person. Oh, kid, tell me they got to go. They fire, fire, fire. You, you mentioned a threat. Do you feel like the threat is credible? Do you feel safe? Do you feel like you're safe? I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Because it be times like I, like this morning, you know, I wind up getting sidetracked. So I wind up going to clean one of my buildings and then get in the house like four o'clock. And they also sent me uh, uh, my my address in my DM. So when I got out of my car, I be like, damn, like it be dark. You know, you know how you get that feeling. I, and even though I know I feel that I'm protecting my own way. You see what I'm saying? But I, I sometimes I do feel like that. I do be feeling like, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. like, do you, you know you that feeling? Do you feel like where do you feel like the threats are coming from? I mean, of course they're using fake pages and fake all this, you know, burn pages and stuff. It could be oh. to be honest, and this just truthfully, it could be her side of the family. Like they they never liked me. They never liked one of her friends. You know what I'm saying? Like they just kinda always told me they feel like they um we take we taking tiny from them. You know what I'm saying? So they never liked nobody that she hung around. They all, they've been coming for my little poor ass since I've been around. And I ain't never shit, got hardly shit up out of her. But what I work for, you know what I'm saying? I ain't riding BMW trucks and goddamn businesses and big houses and furnish my house out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never been, when she try, it's half the time I, I don't go to her unless it's something serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I work it off. It be times where I've been on work two, three weeks and not even got no money because I've been on got a loan just to pay my bills or get my lights turned back on. It's the truth. Do you know you what I'm saying? I sat, I sat there and worked a whole week with my lights off and they knew it. Tip knew it and she knew it. You see what I'm saying? This facts. I let go a job paying me fifteen damn near what fifteen hundred dollar a week, wasn't it? Then a fifteen hundred dollar a week to go work for y'all permanent and then I lose. I lose, but I kept saying my loyalty lies in her. My loyalty lies in her. My loyalty lies in her. So if I mention it to you, I'm sending the dog or something going on with me as a friend and you able to put me in position, you could have done it, but it wasn't done. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't done. 
and and that, it's a lot. It's a lot. Were you ever compensated properly? Were you ever truly, fully compensated for the work that um, you did? Well, I feel like I never got what I should have, um, what I deserved for what I was doing as one person versus you paying maids down to ten thousand dollars a month versus paying me five six hundred dollars a week. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's a mansion. It's a big mansion. It's not no little bitty it, thing. You, yeah, that's a mansion. Didn't you help me clean that mansion? Yes. This my she works for me. No, she 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 been around. She I. Uh, I let yeah. her help me go clean it, but you know, I, I, this is what I do. I got this whole building right here to myself. I, that's what I love to do. And I, once you build it how you want to build it, then you able to go in and do it how you want to do it. Once you keep it all tight how you want it, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, it never, it never bothered me. But like I said, my loyalty always had lied in her as a friend. You know what I'm saying? And um, she did speak to me one time. She was like, "Kid, let's get your business up and running." She did. It was during COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, shit, the, the, the family, nobody never really liked me. Like, they do dirty-ass shit, bro. I've been on uh, just mop. They'll go tell Tiny. I didn't even mop the floor. They've been on uh, put some shit on the floor. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm waxing floors, buffing floors, cleaning walls. That's my job. That's what I do. I go crazy in there. I got video before and afters. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like I wax a whole four-level house by myself, by hand, waxing floors. You see what I'm saying? For one hundred fifty dollars, but you would have charged the ten thousand. But that's my that was my friend, and she have helped me when, like I said, you know, she have helped me before. But here nor there. Um. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. I um the Shakana situation. You know, none of this coming out now because oh man, I'm mad at Tip or whatever the situation might be. Um, uh, no. Tiny ain't brought nothing my way or even addressed me in no fucked up manner or nothing like that. But I just feel like what happened between me and him, you know what I'm saying? I'm grown. I'm 40 years old. Nigga, you 39, 40 years old, however old you is. I feel like we could have addressed it. We supposed to be considered, supposed to be family. A lot of stuff that, you know, shouldn't even got out. Yeah, y'all ain't posting it on y'all blogs, but the streets talking. When I got to constantly hear people coming to me, keep coming to me, oh, Tiny said this, or Tip said that, Tiny, and they know what they talking about. I ain't spoke on it. The world know now. I ain't spoke on the business. And this been since June last year. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. record you got probably from last year, I'm sure. It's, it's, I said August. It was actually July 19th. It was before August. So it was, That's what I'm saying. It had to be like, you know what I'm saying? But it's still like, it's just a lot. Like, it's a lot. But, let, me, uh, let me ask you this. Did you you were there when we taped and recorded the pilot for the reality show? Um, right. After what the show didn't, of course, take off. Um, me personally was in. Tiny convinced me that it was Chicago fault, and I believed it for a while. I was actually mad with Chicago for a while for this because she right. convinced me who she made me believe strongly that Chicago was being uh, petty and Chicago was being in her feelings about their, their friendship disbanding. What were your what was what you were there though when I actually went to Tiny to to buy the show? Yep. What what was what was what was her thoughts about the show, and what was she was thinking at the time? Well, that's not even her. Her, her she only was involved because of Shikana, and um, she never really wanted to be, uh, really like involved with it from the beginning. You know what I'm saying, like. It's not even nothing that she kind of seen a great idea and she involved her friend, you know what I'm saying? Which probably you, you, your, your idea or her idea. I don't know. Maybe y'all. Okay. 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 Yeah. And y'all seen a great idea and y'all involved her. But then it's like, um, after the phone conversation, true enough, they, after they was going through whatever they were going through, you know, she already knew where we were going with the show anyway when we meet up to go go over the edits you in there we go over all the pictures and the videos and all that you know just you know you don't want no dealings with it just let it go but then one of the guys wind up calling her and were like she kind of came to me xyz then she was like i don't give a fuck about none of that because i ain't i ain't letting up off my i guess whatever share i don't know how this go Whatever part she got, yeah, whatever part that she's involved in, she just it's just there. 
If anything, I'm the money. So guess what? They'll sell it to me, basically. Right. Well, the I, I reached out to her too by the show. She uh, denied that. And then I was like, I gave up for a minute. And then there was a situation that happened. And she acted, though, as if she was down for it. But then I kind of realized, like, damn, okay, well, it is Shekinah the whole time. Until she, until I, I, so I, me, myself, because I invested about $16,000 in the show. I, look, right. I, ain't got no, I ain't got no money like that to be spent around. I know they got money I don't got. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to figure out what's, what's, what's the deal with the thing. And so when I go to her, she's more like, you know, if we would have did this if it wasn't for Shekinah. We would have did that if it wasn't for Shekinah. I would have did this if it wasn't for Shekinah. Shekinah, we should just give it up because she's going through a, a lunatic period. And made me believe that Shekinah was at fault and Shekinah was crazy. So I addressed Shekinah with it. Shekinah showed me some messages that were sent to her similar to messages that you got from burn pages and fake texts and with the weird eye threats and stuff like that. And it proved to me that, hold up, something is going on here. They probably, like, what's going on here? Um, did you think, so you said just a minute ago that you think she never even cared about the show. Did she ever care about, do, do, are you, do you know that to be a fact? Or do you think she was just doing this out of spite to spite Shekinah? Or why, if she didn't care about it, why would you think, why do you think as somebody who knows her I guess that I she didn't? When the time of when it first happened, it was a check in, a check in her eye because right after COVID, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody yeah. really been doing no shows. So it, it could have possibly, you know what I'm saying, from what Shekinah idea was, she did speak highly at first. She did. She did speak highly of the show like, well, I see, you know, Shekinah idea, but they couldn't see eye to eye on how she kind of wanted to do it and how Tiny wanted to do it. Basically, she wanted to run the show, but she kind of felt like it was her show, I guess, and she brought you in. So this is how it should go because she kind of got the eye, I guess, for certain shit that Tiny just don't see. You know what I'm saying? So after they looked though, after we filmed and, and that incident happened that night when we had to leave the house, whatever, all this bullshit that happened, remember? Right. Yeah. Uh, after that, um, it was just like, like, boy, come fruit for me. Hold on. Go ahead. All right. So um, for those of y'all that are wondering who this is, this woman is uh, Ghost by the name of Kitty. She was uh, shook, uh, Tiny's longtime friend. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so okay. A uh, couple more questions. And and then I would like to um TI and we see a lot of times some of the things that he said about Shekinah and some of the dis the, the disrespectful yes. things he said about mm -hmm. women. Where do you think that comes from? Or where, why do you think that is a thing? Do you feel like it's a very malicious? Uh there was a time when he went up and ran up to people don't even know this, but ran up to at a restaurant and everything. I know about what? that because he called me from in the restaurant and I heard some of it. Or uh, maybe somebody she was with, I don't remember. Right. But, uh, so I, I don't know so, why he do that, but he always said that he tried to prove to Tiny that Shakana don't have no friends. I meant that Tiny don't have <laughs> true friends. But that's not true. When you constantly um shit, y'all do it. We ain't did it. You see what I'm saying? Do you think she has true friends? Who are her friends? Do she have friends? I mean, I, w I know there was like a Toya and Anna. Monica who once her friends, but I don't see them with her anymore. Who are her friends now? Uh, well, she she around, um, who she around, you saying? Well, I, I mean, we, we used to see her around Toya. Like, we used to see her around Monica. Like, they friends. have with like Toya, her, like with Toya, you know what I'm saying? They have, uh, from what I see, you know what I'm saying? Like the way their relationship is that I, I like it because, you know, Toy real laid back. I love I love Toy She, you know. Um, I guess her her escape route, which is Candace them, I guess. But I don't see like nobody over there every day. This phone, you know, like but okay. far as day it just um, you know, I guess Erica, uh, I don't know. I don't know nobody. What was your interactions with the girl Sabrina? What are your thoughts about her? Um Well it was a lot brought to my attention once. Um all this hit the fan and Shekinah and Tiny fell out. They brought some stuff to my attention. Well, Tiny did. 
she brought some stuff to my attention about Sabrina. Then I realized that Sabrina is the same girl that was around when my kid's father got killed. And I, I did not know that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing about none of that. You know what I'm saying? And um, she, I remember uh, when she was in the halfway house, you know, Tiny used to go over there, take her food and all that stuff. And then they was, I, I mean, I wasn't around at that time, but they was around people that I knew. You know, then it was a certain studio that they hung at, and I'd rather not say who or where right. during the time when Tip was incarcerated. And from my understanding, everybody that that was involved around that time, they really surprised because they like, damn, we know Sabrina and um, Tanya were real close, but we also know what type of person that Sabrina is. You know what I'm saying? They they know. Huh. Right. Oh, they know. Right. Um. Oh, I, and, and yeah. I, I, I got a lot, and I understand kind of like, like what it is. Um, there's a part of the video where um, you reference about the situation that happened last year with hey. the, the sex scam. Hold on. Um, in the video, you stated that there was never any underage girls there but there were some younger girls there. And um, you mentioned something in regards to a young lady around the age of 25 or something like that, or 22 or something, or maybe a 21 year old. And that you mentioned how they found, they utilize their stature to tell these young women certain things to get them to come into the bay. Damn, kid. I don't know who I can't. I ain't heard. Then you said my phone. Hold on. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead. So look, y'all. Double tap. Double tap. Double tap. Double tap. Um. You give me? Yeah. All right. So I didn't hear anything you had said. Something about a twenty-one year old or something. I don't know what you said. What you said? Right. I okay. ain't hear. One second. One second. All right. So, um, hold on, let me. Uh, the, you you mentioned in the video about they not you 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 cleared them and said they didn't hurt underage girls, but some of the girls were rather young, and that they utilized some of their stature and power and clout to lure some of the women to come over. Um, the women were being told it was to be singers yeah, and all this I other stuff that. like that. Yeah. I said um, that they, other women, I said, yeah, you, you, you were talking to, um, you were talking to, it's not, I'll tell you what, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. You actually cleared them to be honest with you. Uh, but it was just one question about it I had. I, I actually, if you want to, um, let you just. You said, well, I told you that night, because um, I was going to tell you, put your motherfucking runner shoes on and don't look back. It's coming out right after this. Did you tell that bitch no younger? Who? Yeah, I'm fine. They do, but not on the age. So this is 18, 21. I can't believe them girls let it go there. You go on to you, you go on to mention <laughs> that, <laughs> that the that the, you go to you go on to mention that the girls were being told they were gonna be singers or rappers or some shit like that. What was what was what was could you expound on that a bit and do you have any intimate knowledge about what they were telling to get the girls there? I mean, you know, I can't. I mean, we really can't. If shit, we listen to the whole goddamn thing because I know exactly what video it is now because I know for a fact, you know, like, I ain't never, like I said, in this fact, you know what I'm saying? I only went to one event, you know what I'm saying? And the event that I went to, I wound up leaving because I had my daughter there. You know what I'm saying? I did have my daughter there. She was upstairs, though. But it was a regular party, you know what I'm saying? Then after a certain time, 
shit when they ready to do what they got to do, but they know who they got in their house. They know exactly who they bring into their house. It's not like they get random people, and I speak firm on it. It's not like they just going ahead like, boom, shooting the target. They know who they who they invite into their household and what they do. I never been over there to see them do no goddamn threesomes and all this old shit. I ain't never seen that. I go off what was told to me verbally, you know what I'm saying? But I never heard like none of that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, true enough, they they like to play. That's what they do, you know what I'm saying? I can't say they drug no damn girl. Look, if, if they choose to take whatever they take, if they want to take, it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like if they was, I never. I can't speak on it. There's some I, I I'm not even finna dig my goddamn head into it. If I spoke on it, then guess what? That's that's what it was. It's, it it is what it is. But that particular time right there was that party. You know what I'm saying? Um, that they had, but I know it wasn't. I didn't see them sleep with the girl. I just know who all were there. Right. You, know uh, you never said you never said you saw them sleep with them. Yeah, I got the fuck on. Right. You never mentioned that you saw them sleep. I, like I said, you cleared them from from from. Silent like they was doing it to these underage girls because you said it didn't work. There was never an underage girl, and uh, you just you specifically did say that you never witnessed them having intercourse or anything like that. Um, but something, and this is the last bit part, the last video I want, I want the last part of the video I want to talk about. Um, but you did witness some things when it came to some of the things that was out. So let me play a little part of that and let's get into it because you mentioned in here about what. It was that you were witnesses. Yeah, me and one girl woke up. Her ass on work. I told you, he little ass on. Ugh. Yeah, she me told me that she's like, girl, like fucking ass. Why? Play gay. Okay, so the question you go on and and talk about. Okay, this. okay, now let's clear that video. Up, okay, go so ahead. I recorded clear. that myself. That was go edit. Ahead. Because that's what Shekana told me. Now, don't put that on me like that. I got Shekana saying those words. I got Shekana telling me those words right there. In the in the video, you're saying you're saying that. Yeah, I'm saying that we're gonna speak back. Then what girl woke up? Yeah, them are Shekana words. Yes, yes. Get on. Carry on on the phone. Yeah. 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 I recorded Shekana telling me. So, t so you're saying that on the video where you're saying that Tamika told this to you, Tamika didn't tell no, us. No, no, no. Tamika didn't tell me that part. Tamika didn't tell me that part. That part about the yeah. asshole shit, the bus wide open asshole. I got Shakana on record saying that. Now, I, Terry, y'all know. Go in my room and uh, I, that phone you in, find that recording on that where you see that ground. It's going to be a ground uh, on Shakana talking. Now, okay. Okay. Now, Okay, so that was that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tanya ain't never, ever, ever, hold on, get her away from the phone. That, to Shekana, uh, Tanya ain't never came to me and said no bullshit about no ass being bust over her ass, maybe, but not no girl ass. You see what I'm saying? They go through what they go through and fuck how they fuck, but that ain't got nothing to do with another girl. Of course, she's not going to come to me and tell me that. Now, true enough, Shekana did tell me that. You see what I'm saying? And that part that y'all got it where y'all say, now, Tiny told me that. I don't even know how that even got in with that because that conversation right there, I got it too. I didn't even know that that's what that was. You see what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna, um, if we're going to speak and we're going to speak facts, don't don't, don't make it seem as if, because I'm, I'm going to tell the honest God truth. You see what I'm saying? I would, now, I would I was telling Gabe what I was told. You see what I'm saying? Not what I knew. And I'm like, yeah, uh huh. I remember exactly that whole conversation. I remember. So so you had heard this. This is not something that you had any intimate knowledge about. No. Um, and, I, and I would love to hear your uh, recording to compare it. Uh, that part was the edit. You go on to say in the recording that you would clean up the rooms and sometimes find tubes of lubricant or anal ease. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, that's, they, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't saying other girls. and one of no other girls involved. Right, right, right. right. They, 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 they and her. I mean, hell yeah, it was, that's some shit. I, I, you got some, don't you? I got some. I have some. Yes, I do have some. I, have, I, have, I like to, you know. It's they little toys. That's what they do. They like to fuck. Shit. If they fucking ass, that's a husband. He can fuck in the ass. Fuck in every hole in her yeah, body. No. Is that what you choose yeah, to no, do? I, I definitely said that, but it was for her. It, 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 her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the, 
Um, right. So you, hold on. Wait, I think this is. No, go to the other one. That's your karma. That's me. Rewind it back to the beginning, Terriana. Rewind it back to the beginning. No, just go back. I'm on live. Go to the beginning again. It was a little hard for us to hear. Could you tell us what Okay, it was okay, hold on. Go. Go they told that girl ass off. Okay. Now, this, this after I talked to Gabe, this is where I got my information from right here. It's, it's, I got, I got. 34 minutes, and then I got another one for like 40 some minutes. But okay, we choose okay. not to even want to put all that out there. But she clearly, right, right. she said she heard, he allegedly, oh. she heard from okay. somebody else. You see what I'm allegedly, saying? She, right. she heard, but here or not there. I I'm not here to pray for you. And if if you say that it was alleged alleged that you heard it from Shekinah, who heard it from somebody, that's fine. Alleged. Um, I'm not here. To, I'm not here to definitely not judge. Um, and and we can only. I would like to only you know stick to if you you know if you have something I definitely would definitely entertain. So that was a conversation that you had with Shekinah just now. Um, that she is saying that what she heard, and that's what she was repeating back when you said got it. Um, so moving right along. So when when you were when you were working and you would find these 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 different types of things, <laughs> what was your what was your thoughts? Were you shocked? Were you were you were you just just like but fuck it? It is time I kind of just overlook overlook it because shit, everybody got a sex life, you know what I'm saying? But you right. know, um, shit, that what they were doing in their private room, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Shit, many people many people think that. Uh, their relationship is very one-sided. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's one-sided? Many people think that um, it's T.I. is the puppet master and Tiny is just doing whatever. Some people think, uh, me personally, I think it's the other way around. Slick side, just knowing me personally, that's just my personal opinion. You know, I have nothing basis. And I'm just asking what your opinion is. Do you feel like their relationship, I mean, we, we, I asked you a question about what do you think about their relationship being like one of those honest, sport right solid power couple relationships you said no and which is a fair opinion and this is your opinion do you think who do you think is pulling the strings here um we've discussed a lot of things we've talked about how this that you that you were not treated as fairly as you should have been uh we talked about how she kind of may not have been treated as fairly as she could have been i could attest to me not being treated as fairly as i should have been in dealing with them um, and I, we could talk about how some of the interactions with people got kind of testy at times. Do you think right. whose fault is this? Do you think it's both their fault? Do you think it's one their fault? One person listened to the other? What do you think is someone who was there for years working for them for years? I mean, um, like, I can't really say. I think um, I always felt like, you know, like, tilt the man. Everything right. revolves around him. Like, um, I I do know in my face and, and and stuff that I seen. Like, I used to always tell time like that man really really do love you. Like, he go over and beyond. Like, he's well protected of Tiny. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, Chip will go crazy about Tiny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I didn't feel that way when it came to her to him. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know between them two what what they got. Who doing the wet? Who doing the wet? Because Speaking to other people, they be like, "Girl, you think you tip, girl? It's tiny. I'm telling you, it's tiny. It's tiny. It's tiny." But I'm like, I didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't get that because it. They never brought bullshit to me. Like honestly, like Tip never came at me in no fucked up way. Jamaica never came up at me in no fucked up way. She actually always protected me until now. 
that would hurt the most. Like when it comes to her family, them on the bullshit. Like you got the ghetto. They always call us ghetto. We the next. We the next Shakana. Y'all trying to be the next Toya and all this and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like she would protect me. Tiny would protect me with everything in her and, and get mad and go the fuck off, mama or whoever. But then it's like it just stopped. Like damn, I started feeling like damn, like. You know, like, I like the outcast. Like, what the hell am I? Like, y'all just holding me around for, like, the little yo-yo. Like, I'm the go, I'm the in the between the middle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just right there. But it just bothered me because I'm like, damn, I really opened a lot of windows and doors. Like, I brought God into y'all house. You know what I'm saying? When you didn't believe in it, did you being honest? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was the one that prayed and hold y'all hands. I, I cry with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I tell y'all when you're wrong and when you're right. But then when you come back and slap me in my damn face and make me like I'm like I'm an individual that I know that I'm not because of y'all getting fucked in y'all brain by whoever else that's telling y'all these stories instead of coming to me. When y'all come to me about, oh, what going on out here in these motherfucking streets with this beef and this drama, but y'all won't come to me and talk to me as in, as a friend, as a family. You know what I'm saying? So basically that's 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 what yeah, I can't really say, Shay, because I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. I, I always thought it was Tip. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he the one who don't approve for a lot of shit, and that's what it is. Like, he don't like punk. But yet, yeah, the motherfucker still, you just made a show with a punk. Like, let's be real. Like, phew, what's really going on? Like, he, he it is what it is. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? They, shit. Well, um, I, I, I I tell you what, I think uh, I got, you give us some insight here. You give us some, you can definitely give us some uh, information as far as what's uh, going on on the inside. You I'll know, a us. lot that bothered me though, because be honest, like that lady, that lady really got a heart of gold. And I think if she when when she was single, when they were going through what they were going through, like life was a little different than what it is now. You know what I'm saying? And I hate, I actually hate that this shit really going on with her. You know what I'm saying? Even with her and Shekana. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that she she can be one person if she just be her. Not trying to be other people and go off what other people tell her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, trying to please everybody else and they feelings about a certain person. Like, go off that person yourself and feed off that person yourself. You know what type of girl Shekana is. You've been around her more than, longer than anybody in the world, and you know how she come when it comes to you. Like, it shouldn't even be no backlash, no... All this shit is because, what, one one motherfucking thing? Y'all don't want to help with a fucking lawyer? All, now all this bullshit, when, mm -hmm. guess what, it never had to hit the fan, she would have never spoke up and said she did it because y'all asked her to, because y'all would have handled y'all business. But when you didn't handle your business, and she got all this other stuff going on, she had to voice her opinion some type of way. Ain't nobody listening to her, and if she ain't being heard, but y'all, y'all platforming who y'all is bigger than us. So get what y'all got the fans and everybody else speaking for y'all. Y'all can say a motherfucking word. Like if you listen to the video, first of all, that's a whole threat, nigga. You said you better look over your shoulders in the traffic when you're looking for me, bitch. That's a whole threat. Like you gonna kill a nigga in, in the streets. So y'all can say this, but let us say it. Boom, it's a whole problem. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole problem. So you know, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot, but. It's all right. It, 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 everything, everything gonna win. Wait, wait, wait. It is what it is. You know, I got motherfuckers texting me now, blowing me up. Don't do it. Shut up. Don't say that. Leave it alone. They using you. It's popping up on my screen. It's not using. It's voicing what need to be heard because at the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna make it sing, cut shit out and do this and do that. And then I don't even know what's going on because I can say why I heard it and how, why I got it from and them facts. You see what I'm saying? Versus people making it how they want to make it and put it how they want to put it. No, nah, because first of all, once again, I'm brought into this and I wasn't even acknowledged. You know what I'm saying? I I reached out to you and said, let me come on here. Ain't no need of posting a video of some me talking to a motherfucker a year ago or last year in August or uh, when June, July, you know what I'm saying? Out of whatever whatever I was going through at the time because we had just fell out. And then mm -hmm. now it's like, here it is all this time. I discontinued them people. I ate some folks out of my life. I don't speak to them. I don't talk to them. I don't go on their pages. I don't, they block me on all platforms, okay? They block me for what reason? I don't know. I don't even go on y'all shit. I don't even look for y'all. Y'all ain't even in my view. You know what I'm saying? But yet and still, 
I'm in this shit for something that I ain't even got nothing to do with. So I just looked at it like, maybe I need to voice my opinion on how I feel. Maybe this may be the time. I don't know. But Would you, you, know. you have been approached by blogs. You've been approached by the shade room. Uh, we saw yeah. all that. You never, you never spoke out. You know, you never spoke mm -hmm. out. You never said anything. You, you, you kept it. Silent. No, they came. They, they, they came to me uh, several times. The shade room, on site, neighborhood, whatever that is. I ain't even know about a damn neighborhood till they reached out to me and I started following them. I ain't never really known all the sites like that, mm -hmm. you know. And that's when they reached out to me. They were trying to buy my story for me when all this was going on. And I told them my loyalty lies in tiny. Those are exactly my test messages. My loyalty lies in tiny. You know what I'm saying? But I don't get the same. I don't get yeah. the same. I just feel like she should be the one protecting me right now. I don't give a fuck what y'all, what y'all, um, what what y'all, um, what y'all are uh, assuming or whatever the situation might be. At the end of the day, it's like y'all going off of other shit, and it hurt my soul to know that y'all never even came. I'm hearing different stuff. Like, I don't even know what the truth is because y'all never came to me. I still don't know the truth on what we're really took in. I, I don't, I'm hearing different shit. I still don't know if y'all really said it. It could be so he say, she say shit. You, I don't, I still don't know the truth. I'm still just like, fuck y'all. I do my own little thing. I got, I got too much going on. And, you know, I ain't never been that tight. I'm, I'm still cool with a whole bunch of people that she's cool with that come back and I talk to. You know what I'm saying? That know for a fact that they like kid, you rock with that lady. I'm talking about, I don't give a damn. We in the streets. It's like I'm your your security guard. Ain't nobody finna touch you. Ain't nobody finna do nothing to you. You ain't need no security when you with me. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't get paid like that. I ain't, I ain't, I don't get a knowledge for that, bro. I don't get a knowledge. I didn't get a knowledge. I go and bust my ass. Make sure this house where a house supposed to be before you open your eyes in the morning, my nigga. Before you open your eyes in the morning, I never got a knowledge. I got a knowledge for the littlest shit that I didn't do. The littlest shit that I didn't do. Then you got the evil ass motherfucker going around now, a waste some shit on the floor, and then go, uh, kitty. No, I ain't your maid. That's the point. I ain't your maid. I come in, do my little job, and I go. I ain't finna be walking around this motherfucker daily cleaning behind. No, I don't do that. Uh uh. Uh uh. I don't do that. Uh uh. Right. That ain't what I do. Right. So, you know, I always voice my opinion on that. This ain't nothing new. This, this, this why I don't bite my tongue. I don't kiss no ass. I don't dick ride. I don't do none of that. At the end There's of the day, it is, it is what it is. There's a lot more to your story. Your story. Are you going to be talking to this to uh blogs and stuff now? Or are you no, I just rather choose to talk to you. I, I don't if they take it from here, they take it from here. I don't want to. I, I told you that I I don't want to. All this want to know this video with me and Shikana, there's none of their business. If they want to know that's none of their business. I just had to clear that little part up. It's not nothing else about what we talked about. There's nothing else. You see what I'm saying? That's none of their business. You know what I'm saying? I have not spoke with Shikana. Um, Prior to this, I don't want to talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? No men should come don't hang with each other. If this way they think, oh, I done linked up with Shakana. No, that's not the case. I was sent Shaky YouTube. I reached out to Shaky myself and gotcha. I asked them, let me come on here. That, that's what it was. And Keylon is my best friend. She right here. Hey. <laughs> She's like, let them know who my best friend. <laughs> Here we, Keila, we love you. I, I, you know, I, I really believe, like, you know, even from hearing the video when I first heard it, I was like, this lady is telling her truth, and I can respect. I'm most anybody. definitely any anything that's in there. Most definitely the truth. I, I was probably hurt at the time, and I did confide in him, but I know for a fact that there are only two people that I ever opened up to. So when they said it was a video, I just knew it was only two people. So I can say what I said when I heard it. I'm like, I know the whole video. You know what I'm saying? Like I know, so you know it ain't. It's it's most definitely the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it probably worded at the time, but it's most definitely um. I I'm I only sorry. talked to that person though because I felt like people kept coming for Shakana, even though I haven't spoke to her at the time. I just felt like everybody kept coming to her, and um she went fuck with nobody. She fell back, but it's like they just kept coming for the girl. It's like bullying, like bullying to me. Um, I um, I was. Yeah, they, it's definitely that. Uh, that's what they do. They don't. They don't do it themselves. They hire mutts to do it for them. Um, yeah. That's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day. Uh, definitely. Um, I, I, you, you, one well, final question. Um, if she was, if, if they were here, they're probably look, looking on their burn page or something. They're probably looking on their backup page or something. 
What is it that no, you they want to say? I've been getting messages. They, they, everybody, they here. What do you want to say? What's your thing that you want to say? I mean, um, I practically done said everything I had to say. I just, you know, like, I just want what the world to, to know. Them? Right. To, to, well, I want to tell the world. It okay. ain't just to them. Like, this is not nothing that I'm doing. Um out of spite of anger or nothing like that because I'm not mad at them. You know what I'm saying? If anything, they, they feel the way they feel. I don't feel no type of way. And uh, I just feel like that it needs to be heard. It's still more to it. You know what I'm saying? But it's only that much time to try to discuss this many years. Right. You see what I'm saying? But uh, to them, you know, I, would, I want them to know that my loyalty always lies within them. And, and I never X them out or never did nothing of that nature. Like, I always stand firm and stood for them. Even when I knew what they was doing, half the stuff wasn't right. I still was beside them. You know what I'm saying? But when you don't give me that same energy, it fuck you. That what it is. That, that what it is. Fair enough. That, that what it is. I ain't, it is what it is. Like I said, the world don't even know. That I wouldn't even communicate with these people until they saw your YouTube. They never knew. Nobody didn't didn't know. You know what I'm saying? They ain't know. Sorry about that. That kind of got dropped. But I, I did. I, I did. I have. And this is the truth. I have been like trying to reach out to Tip because I want to have a one on one talk with him, woman to man. Because I just feel like he in the blind about a lot of shit, and maybe that's why he feeling the way he feel. You know what I'm saying? That could be it. It could be motherfucker putting shit in his head coming from her end to make him feel the way he feel now when you can find in me. Now you all of a sudden feel some type of way. But if you talk to me how you have talked to me before, you know what I'm saying? Then we, we can sum this up and I still can X myself out because I just feel like my chapter ain't closed yet because I ain't confronted him. I ain't talked to him. So... That that's that's something that I want to do. I want to sit down at the round table with him, cause I ain't scared of him. See, they scared of him. They be I ain't scared of him. You see what I'm saying? Like I want to talk to you face to face. You all them big ass words. I don't know them, sir. You feel me? You can say them big ass words, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what they mean. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna talk to you, cause we both from the hood. I'm gonna talk to you how Kitty Boo talk to you, and then we can sum this up. And guess what? We can let bygones be bygones. Y'all going to the left, and I'm gonna go on to the right. And y'all going about y'all business. But when you just getting people to come for, like, I know all these fake pages coming from them because I was around when they was doing it. You see what I'm saying? So, but B, I'm direct. I'm right here. I'm showing my face. Fuck a video. I'm showing my face. But y'all hide. Y'all hide behind all these bloggers and Instagram famousers and or whatever they y'all call y'all self. Hell, I don't even know. Just shoot shots at everybody. But yet it's still come to the light. Right. That's just what it is. This is what it is. And I hate that you wrapped up in this, you know what I'm saying, because you was being nothing but a friend on both ends from the beginning, you know what I'm saying, and then now you got this individual who's on payroll to come for you, and that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just being honest. That's not, oh. that, it's not right, you know what I'm saying? Right. The, the, that girl I'm, ain't over there balling nobody. You keep on coming for this girl. That girl ain't did shit. She over there minding her business. Going on about her being let that let that girl go. She dealing with enough already. It's crazy. Yeah. The social social media is a def, is a is a blessing and a curse at the same time. I think. Um, yeah. Well, I appreciate so much that you come in and uh, shed that light on that. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. I would I will reach out to you just to make sure uh, later on everything is is good and copacetic. I again appreciate your candor. I appreciate your transparency on that. Um, and definitely appreciate you coming. Uh, but even like even then, um, you know, like it's happened so fast from last night to now. We never just me and you haven't just talked, you know. So maybe if you could just reach out to me and we can just have that one on one talk with me and you, so you can know, you know, more of. Um... Right. I definitely, I definitely would like that. I think that um, under under the I think you know we we never had no bad blood when I when I met you, and. Uh, I always uh, appreciated you. Was very protective of 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 Tiny when I met you and her, and uh, you always always appeared to me that you have best interest at heart. And so I definitely want to applaud that of you. Oh, is she did she hear the, any of that? Yikes! I don't know. Did she hear any of that? All right. 
So, um, yeah, she left. Okay. Now, um, a lot, a lot, a lot, y'all. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do right now? Do I want to decompress a little bit? Or do I want to, no, let's, let's jump into, uh, the comments real quick. Uh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming through for that interview. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. No, it's a lot. When we tell you it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, do I, I want to just say this, okay, um, and just kind of piggyback off of what is going on with 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 my situation that they think I'm deflecting about and how they fit into the situation. So I want to go ahead and just talk about that real quick and then I'm going to end the live because people are saying um, I, there's definitely not a deflection on my end. I'm going to end the live and I'm going to come back a little later to discuss it more because, that's, like I said, there's no deflecting. Um, so recently I uh, I have been charged uh, by the feds from an arrest from 2018. Uh, did T.I. rat on me? No, that's not what happened. Somebody else read it on me, actually. But uh, did, how did this information come out? It definitely came out from T.I. inside it, without question, because it came from someone who is hired by them. What does that mean? I'm about to explain to you right now. Uh, I got arrested in 2018. It was a thing in New Orleans. Everybody knew about it. It was not a secret. I talked about it candidly when I got arrested. Uh, that arrest turned into, I have a criminal history, as anybody knows, it's not a secret either. Um, it's something that, nothing that I even worry about or care, whatever. We all, for T.I. have a criminal, everybody, everybody in my family have a criminal history. Nonetheless, um, so in 2018, I was arrested. Uh, the feds have generally five years to pick up charges. They decided to pick it up on uh, last Friday. So like last week, actually, they decided to pick the charges up. Uh, how does T.I. play into this? I will explain to you in my mind how it happens. Uh, the only time, outside of the time it initially happened, me addressing it, I addressed it in uh 2020 when the real bb judy posted something about uh ain't the phase watching or something to that effect when in a post to delete um it has been confirmed when uh i got on a show with tiny them when we were doing the show they were posting about the show they were supposed about the show um the brat who is the real bb judy's lover uh, handler something like that actually called T.I. and said, how you got him working with your wife? How, how you got him working with your wife? Uh, Tiny actually told me that. Um, that at first, they, they did call Tip and told him to not have her work with me. That's what they did. She decided to do so anyway, according to her. Um, the next part about that is, simply, this is what happened. Um, as they knowing, I have the original video of what the lady who you just saw, Kitty, uh, information, they stick their mutt on me. And the hyena called me fat or something. I don't know what, what, he, what, what she did. She called me fat or something. And it was like, OK, whatever. And so um, what they did was I'm convinced that Tip called the brand name and was like, what y'all got on him? Because he got some stuff on us. And so, of course, they were able to tell him, well, this is what he does have, which was basically uh, an open charge with the feds. Um, for some, and so that's what it is. And so that's what I know happened. He, of course, gave the information to his mother because they wouldn't talk about it. Because as you could hear from what Kitty just said, they have people do their dirty work from. Um, summarizing, too. So no problem. So summarizing too, I think that um, I believe I believe I sense believe whatever thing Katie says. I don't think she has a malicious intent. She did not want to come here. I had I, I, I have the video and I was gonna play it, and that was gonna be a thing. But she decided to well, look. If you go play, let me just come tell my story and let me tell it my my own amount so you can hear from me. And that was only fair. Um, so. Yeah, it was definitely some situation. It was definitely some situations in there where we heard, and as you of course make up your own mind about it, there was definitely some stuff in there that's kind of yeah, yeah. So and it's it's actually some more though um, that I have, not from that, but actually something else. So um, 
we got some more stuff. Um, yeah. I don't, I, it, it's not nobody business to tell. Everybody knew it. It's not, it, like, who didn't know this? It was not like a thing. It was, everybody knows this. So, um, that's what it is. So, thank y'all for coming. I know a lot of y'all gonna see this on the tube. Don't forget.